Tonight, we kick off the fun. Our Nacho right there, the 19-year-old getting the start for Argentina. No Lionel Messi. Three changes for them, including a late one. Number 19, Sone, coming into the lineup after Andy Polo felt some discomfort in the warm-up. Our Nacho for Di Maria. TL cycles it around. And his last man back, drives that cross. And Di Maria was in the air. He was in a real tangle as well. Tom Martinez given the start after goals off the bench the first two. Aldo Corzo was late on the teenager Garnacho. Where and when and how does the referee decide to really draw a strong line yeah. as the fouls start to come in and the Argentina players are arguing who advance out of Group A. Chile have to win to have a chance. Peru have to win to have a chance. Sonny didn't get there in time. Picked up now by Garnacho, cutting it in. Garnacho off balance shot was blocked. Di Maria swinging to a good spot. Boy, rising up there through the pack was Otamendi. Just couldn't hear the come the again. Look, the, the Peruvians trying to chase down Cesar Ramos. And again, a body knocked off the ball. It was Palacios there, and then Latour Martinez goes down. Cesar Ramos is play on. Can Peru come the other way in some transition? Brian Reynas, Lopez outside, brings it inside, hands it off, Edison Flores. Looked like Guerrero was in a halfway decent spot there, just wasn't quite ready for yeah, it. I, I think he thought that the sh that was going to be a shot instead of a pass. It was too far for Reyna, though. Battle there with Pena and Palacios. Garnacho lost his footing. Three Peru players converge. None of them got the ball. Comes to Latoro Martinez. Martinez saved by Galese. The flag does yeah. come up after the save. And it's Paredes. And it's clipped off the crossbar. It bounces. Galese trying to control it. Most expensive. As it stands, Peru would just need the one goal if it finishes scoreless in Orlando. But again, Chile are playing with 10. And neither game has had a first half hydration break, which is interesting. Di Maria, options either side, calls his own number through the traffic, but it's right at Pedro Galese. There's. Who has managed one shot right now, which is better than Chile had done at this point Tuesday night. Great Di Maria and Alvarado. Montiel on the overlap. Lopez backing off. Hands it off for Montiel. Cuts into the middle of the field. Celso kicks in with a beauty. Galese. Garnacho misses the upper right hand corner. That they're even creating chances against a deep line block at times is a good sign. That's a nice little ball around the corner. I'm interested to see how dynamic Argentina are. At what point did Peru get more? Here's Latoro Martinez from Di Maria Martinez, the chip. Third goal in three games for Latoro Martinez. And all that conversation about them not scoring. Di Maria on the deck. Latoro Martinez with it. Stabbed into the back post. Boy, everybody's frozen. And it's been waved off on the field. Talia Fico got the final touch. Well, it's there, almost as if they yeah. knew that something well, was going to come back. Uh, Cesar, a, t a tough game. Look, I, I think almost, look, you want to start a game as a young player. But in a game like this, almost coming on as a sub now, the best opportunity to create things as an attacking player. So I, I thought he did fine. Totally fine in a game like this. That was He was 2v1 often. Put in a good shift defensively when he had to. So... He'll be happy with that start. Marcos Lopez forcing the first save of the game out of Emiliano Martinez. And it's playing against a Chilean team that is playing with 10 after a first half red card. Chile need to win that game. A draw isn't enough to get them through. That pass got nutmegged in. Here they come for more Argentina. Numbers coming forward. Di Maria gets it away. Montiel is at a handball. Hand Cesar Ramos thinking about it. Gives it as a penalty. The Peruvian players, of course, not happy about it. It's spilling over a little bit here. Cesar Ramos watching on. He's whistled for the penalty. I don't see any way this one gets overturned. And now if you're Argentina, don't get sucked into this type of game. Don't start picking up yellows and put yourself in jeopardy for, for missing matches and do something that you regret. Leandro Paredes slammed the door tonight for Argentina. It's off the post. Still in there, Martinez blocked by Collins. And all those games, too, they've absolutely dominated. They've dominated tonight. Angel Di Maria now has the assist and a lone goal from Latoro Martinez. 
Early in the second half, switch to the far side. Nico Gonzalez put it wide. And the substitutions will come now. It'll be a curtain call. Game winning assist as it stands. Sixth career at Copa America for Angel Di Maria. Which they got after, group and which they had two a tough teams game. haven't scored a single goal. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, look, that's it, it's about getting to the knockout stages, and then you go from there. It's our Martinez already has won. Got the man on the deck. It's saved by Galese. It's cleared by Collins. That was Corzo. No, I got. No, it. you're just gonna leave it hanging. All right, you're just gonna leave it hanging. Right, hang hang okay. okay. <laughs> Thanks for being sure. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Corzo pushed off it. Can he recover? No! Martinez puts it in! Latara Martinez, second goal of the night, fourth of the group stage. Peru are arguing behind the play. Defender into the back of the defender who's facing his own goal. And I think what gave Cesar Ramos down is Zambrano's going to pick up a yellow card here for just... He's completely lost it. Now his teammates are, are forcing him away. It's being reviewed, but he's saying goal. I think he's pointing and saying goal. Well, Pacheco of Mexico is the video assistant referee. Again, we're not looking for a clear and obvious error. We're looking for the correct call, the correct yeah. outcome. Sone has that one knocked out. The ball inside, crosses, clipped up, but he'll let it go, and the header off the inside of the pose from Zanalato, and then it spins round the other, and it's suffocating, the nine points, they've scored five goals, they've only allowed eight shots on goal in the group stage, and that's the end, a perfect group stage for the defending champions, and they're headed to Houston for the 4th of July, who's going to join them?